Ah, you can't see it. Do I have to turn my draw distance up? <laughs> oh, I'll just fly there. This is the skyscraper. This place is pretty epic. As you can see, it's quite big. And, um... He basically found, like, a massive kind of mountain biome. And then stuck kind of a bridge across it and then built a building on it. So it's already in the sky, like, but, yeah. <laughs> and what they do here is they have apartments. So that you can actually, like, have an apartment here, like, in this building. It's cool. And there's a lot of residents. And they have this nice waterfall down the front. He even built a roller coaster, which is kind of silly. I haven't tried it yet. I probably should try it. But for now, I'm going to just go in the front door. And it's quite nice. You just have the ocean outside. You can see the reactor over there. I would think that's at a safe distance, though. And here is Tolberg skyscraper. So I go inside. You have the rules, which I'm not going to read, because I'm me. And it's nice. They have like a little lobby place. They have a charge pad. Um, what these do, basically, is you see I have like uh, all my electric stuff on me. If I stand on this, it'll start to charge it. Now, granted, this one's kind of slow, so I'm not going to use it, because my one is better. Yeah, indeed. <laughs> um, this is actually one of the hub which charges really, 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 really fast. So, if we go upstairs... Not much here, just a nice balcony. Um, if we go up another floor... So, it's done in floors. This floor, this is the first floor. There's not actually much here. But you might wonder, wait, why is this whole room a tank? Yeah, that that's funny. This is, um, the guy upstairs uses this entire room as a lava tank, it's hilarious. You can actually see it in there, it's silly. Um, I think this room over here is empty. Yes, yes it is. But you can see, so you get like apartment 102. Oh wait, apparently Snaggle owns this. Why no stuff, Snaggle? Why no stuff? Oh, he has like one chest. That poor silly man. Um, so there's not much on this floor. I could hack the terminal, but I, actually, I think... Do I remember this password? Oh, like a boss. <laughs> um, I hacked that one a while ago. So, yeah, this is lava tank. Not much to say. It's just a tank of lava. <laughs> and Oh, you've probably seen these things around. These are test racks, by the way. These teleport stuff. So we use them to teleport lava from the nether over to here. Yeah. And if I go up one more floor. This is floor two. I don't think there's anything on here. Oh, Tide's room is here. Ooh, fancy. He has a fancy ceiling. Oh my god, he's a penguin! Penguin, look at me! Look at me! Don't you defy me. Wow, that's a depressed penguin. He just stares out the window all day. <laughs> um, I shouldn't actually leave the door open. That'd be bad if the penguin got away. Penguins are actually from the Twilight Forest, by the way. In case you're wondering. He has a companion cube. And that's pretty much it. Pretty much it. Oh, these silly people with no machines. It's silly. Um. Okay. Oh, I know this. This is Jack. Yeah, all his windows are reinforced for some reason. I don't know why, but they are. Um, he has a computer. And that's pretty much it. Pretty much it. Well, that was something. Um, if you go up to the top floors, there's a lot more stuff in the rooms. Do to do to do. I want to think. Is this? Yeah. Floor 3 has issues because if the clouds are on, they come through the building. So yeah, <laughs> it's kind of silly. Um, I think... Is this place empty? Oh, this guy is... Um, he's fairly new. So there's nothing really in here. Da -da 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 -da. And nothing in here. Yeah, these floors are boring. Okay, I'm going upstairs. In fact, I'm going to take the short route. <laughs> it's like, who needs ladders? Um, there's nothing... Is this one big room? We must be nearing the penthouse. So this is the fourth floor. It's owned by Rizko. And I'm just going to remind myself what the password is. There we go. So he has a computer. I don't think he actually used it for anything. Wait, did he copy my program that does... <laughs> hacking? Oh wait, this is Rizko. I think he downloaded some weird stuff. So... Yeah... What's on the disk? Oh, what am I doing? <laughs> okay. Oh, I know what that's for. That Yeah, that's a silly... Somebody made a disk 
I think Frisky made that actually. It was um, the idea was you know you know people who have pass password protected doors. His way of hacking them was to place a disk drive beside it, put a disk in, and then the disk would basically you know set the door to open. But uh, yeah, it was kind of silly. I mean, like it's it's so much easier to just use the computer itself to do it. Yeah, today today. Oh wow, he has a jacuzzi with the computer. Wait, can I play thing with Jig on this? Oh, he didn't make a thing for it. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Monitor. Wait, that's on the right. You knob, Neff. What are you doing? Oh, where was this program again? It was like rum. Wait, one minute. Nah, can't remember. Oh yeah. If you guys actually have computer craft, you can do this out of the box. Once you have monitors, it's really cool. So I think it's rum programs secret. A long time ago. And there we go. And now we're watching Star Wars. Yes, we're actually watching Star Wars on the computer. Episode 4, A New Hope. I'm not actually going to read all this. But um, yeah, I'm not going to spoil this, but this is actually pretty awesome. It actually plays like the first 10 minutes of the movie in text. It's amazing. And yeah, but I'm just going to stop that. Do -do 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 -do. Um, oh, I should probably clear the monitor as well, so he doesn't know I was here. Although he will see the video, so... <laughs> there we go. And I think, is there anything... No, because it's a pen... Yeah. I think the next one is the penthouse. I could be wrong. Oh no, this is... Yeah, I think this is the sub-penthouse. <laughs> yeah, this is owned by Hyper. Hyper is Scottish and he's rather insane. And he's the guy who has the massive lava tank downstairs. And apparently he's getting evicted. I don't know what's going on there. <laughs> um, oh dear, these people and their passwords. I'm sure I remember this one. Nope, gonna hack it. Wow, th this password was not the most, um, you know, secure thing I could imagine. Um, anyway. So he has his room here with his massive monitor. And pump station book. See, that's still called a pump station, because it used to be the pump station. Unless that's an actual pump station in the nether, that'd be interesting. Um, so, yeah, Hyper kind of went insane with machines, but all the stuff is kind of all over the place. The thing I love about Hyper is, like, every, like, machine has a sign saying, DON'T DO THIS OR THINGS WILL EXPLODE! Oh, actually, here's the good charge pad. Yeah, see, that charges much faster. I'm not gonna nick his power, though, because, yeah. Did to do lots of safes. Very cryptic, lots of stuff. He's doing quite a lot of stuff in here. But yeah, that's pretty much his room. And I think there's just one more left in Skyscraper. This is the penthouse. Apparently it's owned by TC and Miku. It's interesting. Oh, and of course they password the freaking door. But you know what? I'm just going to I'm just going to do this. Oh really? Really? I can't get through a two block gap. Are you kidding me? Silly game. There we go. <laughs> that just saves me hacking the damn computer. Um, so yeah, they have, oh, they have an uncrafting bench. This is from the Twilight Forest, and this will actually uncraft things. Like, if you put in, say, a lever, see, it'll actually make this stuff from the lever, which is cool. I think it takes XP, but it's very useful in some cases. So yeah. Um, let's see. They have, oh yeah, they have a stairs, because that goes up to the roof. Then they have a bedroom. Oh, and they actually, they killed one of the bosses in the Twilight Forest, and that's his head. So yeah, that's morbid. <laughs> um, let's try the roof access. Did I close it? No, I didn't. I'm one of those guys who always has to close the door, you know, just saying. And if I go out to the roof, ooh, another jacuzzi. And they have a color monitor, but they don't have a color computer. That's, that's silly. They have a small farm. And you can see quite far. I don't know what's with the tree. <laughs> they have a random, like, redwood tree, I think, there. But, um, yeah. That's pretty much it for this area. Unless I was to... go on the roller coaster. But I don't have a minecart on me. I don't feel like making one. <laughs> you guys need to, like, have minecarts here. You know? You know? <laughs> um, is there any place with minecarts? What's with the building? I'm intrigued as to what's in here. 
I haven't been on the server in like a week, so when I come on here and see all this stuff, it's like, ooh, new stuff. There is nothing here. That's interesting. <laughs> well, I am amazed. It's pretty. There's just nothing here. And I'm guessing that's for a lava tank? I don't know. These people confuse me. Ooh, good day, creeper. Please go away. I would like you to leave. Thank you. Yeah. So let's see, where am I going? I kind of want to ride that, but I've no minecart, damn it. Maybe I have some gold on me. I'll check. Yeah, um, let's see. Land here. Be right back. Okay, no I don't. Feck it. Um, so I believe that's it for Skyscraper. So I'm going to go back to the Nexus and show you the last places. Right, and we're back. So now we go to the satellite. This is actually quite recent. Um, it's Frisky's just started making it. And as you can see, Frisky really likes his micro blocks. <laughs> You'll see what I mean when you see this. So, yeah. <laughs> it looks pretty good, but it's like, damn, that's a lot of micro blocks. Like, really, Frisky? Really? What you even doing? It looks kind of like an ion cannon, I don't know why, but it does. So yeah. Um, it's pretty swank. I just have no idea what it's for. <laughs> what the point of it is. And yeah, so that's pretty much that. It just looks very pretty. I imagine he's going to live here eventually, I don't know. For now, back to the Nexus. And I almost forgot the Grizzly Hills. I don't know if anyone's actually living here right now. I think the guy who mainly lives here is, uh, hasn't been on in a while. But yeah, this is the Grizzly Hills. The idea of this place is to not use any technology whatsoever. You know, like jetpacks and that sort of thing. Or long fall boots, which I just used. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. So you teleport into that tower thingy. And, oh yeah, you can see there's a lot of these crystals. These hurt you, and that's why the guy who made this place loves them so much. <laughs> yeah. He's a wonderful person. <laughs> he just places them everywhere. Um, so I don't know if there's much actually here. No, not really. There's lots of dangerous crystals, which will... Yeah, do that. And um, turn my jetpack off. What the, what the hell is with... Oh my god. Oh my god, dry. Really? Really? Um, so yeah. I think that's kind of it for here, though. It's fairly basic right now. So I'm going to just go back to the Nexus. Oh, stairs. I'm totally not using my jetpack. Totally not doing that. That'd be terrible. Yep, that would be horrible. If I was to, you know, just fly up the tower with my jetpack. Now, so where's next? 